What's up, Gopher fans, and welcome to Behind the Game, brought to you by Dinkytown Athletes, where we go beyond the surface of what a University of Minnesota Golden Gopher athlete is like. I'm your host, Emma Jurgis, and today I'll be interviewing three Gopher football players, Kenrick Lanier, Darius Green, and Elijah Spencer, and we'll be decorating Valentine's Day cookies and chatting. So let's get to it. What is the craziest thing anyone said to you guys in the middle of a game? In the middle of a game? But it is one time this year where, like, I had just, I had just messed somebody up, like the DB up, and he was like, "That that joint strap." And every time I hear that, like, it just like blows a fuse inside of me. I probably like took a play off. Or, like it was a blocking play. He probably like shoved me after and was like, "You need this pay for it." Nah, that's on you. I ain't gonna lie. But like I stopped. <laughs> that's on. That's on. <laughs> I stopped though. And you fell into that one. Is there a nickname that? your teammates have for you guys that you never had before college? <laughs> Coach Nick would call me K-Dog. 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 That's tough. K-Dog. They call me Sticks. 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 Why do they call you Sticks? Come on now. Country boy. Country boy. Country boy. We'd be Iowa. Like when we had went to go oh. dap up um, oh my God. all the supporters and whatnot in the, in the stands. Uh, some dude threw like the, like the hula necklace. He threw it around my head and I was like, okay, where? Like, it's, it's how it is. I feel a bowl game. A dad asked me to give him some gloves. I ain't having none. So I felt sad. I tried to take somebody else's. Yeah. <laughs> the bowl game, little kids were asking for like my for socks and stuff, bro. Your sock. Yo, anything. Any particle of clothes. They want from gloves to towel to wristbands to my tape. So out of all the uniform combos that we've worn, which one's your guys' favorite? All black. Oh, yeah, the all black is crazy. With the maroon helmet, though. The maroon helmet? The maroon helmet is. I like the all white we wore Purdue. Uh, Purdue? Ooh, but ain't gonna lie, when they put you in on that thing, on the knot. He caught the knot? Nah, nah, nah. Oh, bowl game. Bowl game. Oh, oh man, man. He got the game. I was like, you on that black kid. Oh, we seen the play call. Yeah, I, saw, uh, I saw Kenrick out there by himself on the island. Man. I said, oh, snap. That's a big what-if moment. Yeah. yeah. And that ball get tipped? Yeah. Oh, hey. That was probably crazy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. So. When did you guys realize that you could perform oh my at the collegiate level? Uh, out the womb. Out the wall. <laughs> hey, you know what? I was gonna say some crazy stuff. I was about to say like, when I woke up, <laughs> but I ain't gonna say that. Yo, boy, I don't know. I say sophomore high school. <sighs> so I was a basketball player at first. I got in that field. Got in that field. Changed my life. Changed your life, huh? Yes, my freshman year in high school. Um, freshman year? Yeah, I used to train with. Some guys like Bryce Thompson, Jalen Hyatt, Bobby Irby, mm. like all my guys. And it was when I was working with Info. So I'm like, man, I could do this. I could do this for a career. So, did anyone come up to you guys and tell you that you should play professionally? Yeah, I say my mentor, his name is Jason Barnes. He coached down there at uh, the University of Charlotte now. But he was the first guy that, that like, told me I could really do this. Um, and he helped me stay consistent in my process. So, yeah, him. Like my family. Mm-hmm. It's always like put the confidence in me to like make me always work hard during trainings. I mean, my trainers always tell me like I'm different. Like people, they, other people they train like on the type of level I am. Uh, I would say like my family always like told me I could do it too. Or my mom was always on my back about it. Uh, but my high school coach, uh, my DB coach, Coach Scout, he really like turned me up. And then that, that's when I got my first offer from William and Mary, bro. I was like, What was that? Uh, sophomore year. Oh. No, it was after a track meet, bro. That was crazy. After a what? I literally, I literally ran a 10 6, and then I got offer right after that. Have you guys met any alums that have changed your perspective on being here? Or any like former players that you've been around? Yeah. I, the, well, before I came. I remember my dad, his frat friend, because my dad is an Omega, and I went and met this, I guess he was famous running back that went here. I think his last name was Barber. Oh, oh. Marion Barber. Marion Barber, yeah. Mary, yeah. Mary and Barber yeah. yeah, I met him, and he called, he kind of gave me the perspective of Minnesota, where I got here, let me know what I was getting into. 
At what point did you guys know that you wanted to come here? Sure, on, on my official on visit. My official. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was with him too. <laughs> we got the same perspective. Like I didn't know anything about Minnesota until Nothing. until I took this trip. You know, it was a leap of faith, but I, I was just thinking the whole time, man, this is worth it. At least I, yeah, I ain't had to choose over on a Zoom call, though. You got the officials and all that. <laughs> like, I just, I literally was sitting behind the screen, <laughs> recruit, getting recruited by the screen. You got here. But it was worth it, though. Yeah, it was worth it, though. They got, uh, they got roller coasters around here? Not Valley, Mall of America. Uh, I, mess, I mess with Valley yeah. Fair, man. Bro, that's yeah. one of the first yeah. time. I mess with Valley Fair. Crazy last day of fall camp when it was hot. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, it was like 98. Oh my boy. god. As soon as we stepped out of the bus, I was sweating, bro. I got in that whirlpool. You get that yeah. white joint. Shit vibe out. No, the uh, uh This I'll is the white one. I'll tell you that. What's that? What's that little one? That's pink. Oh. Okay, what sport would you guys play aside from football as a professional athlete? Ooh, I would have ran track. <sighs> For sure. It's a lot of upkeep. I'm I'll be a hooper. As I heard, I was a hooper back in the day. Hey, you ain't good, good bro. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Pull up the highlights. Good, we just, I Pull just, up the highlights. I just Playing Arabia him. Mountain, bro. I got in Pull up the highlights. <laughs> What's the coolest sporting event that you guys have been to as a spectator? Hockey. As a spectator? Hockey. Oh my god. Hockey game? <laughs> Bro. Oh, around right here. And I tell you that was the first thing I did. Cause like everybody kept talking about it. Right? Yeah, I want to go to a hockey game, bro. Yeah, I still love DG. That would be fun as experience. I don't really go to like other sports. So. Nah, that was probably the craziest. Well, I went to softball. I go to softball. I had went to the um. When Julio Jones broke the uh, receiver record, I think it was like the last game in the um, in Are the dome. In Minnesota or anything. in the dome? Yeah. Said Julio Jones. When he yeah he broke the receiver record against the Panthers, I think it was. I didn't know nothing about football either at that time. I used to play DM, bro. No. Yeah. Oh my mom, I did. <laughs> I play I play DM from like. You got film? Yeah, bro. I was knocking, you know, <laughs> knocking heads, bro. Is there a pro athlete that you guys watch religiously? Former or current? Any. Any Chad Ochocinco. I watch all his workout videos, like back in the day, his throwbacks. Can't nobody touch the Ocho. They played him in the back end of his career. I've been watching a lot of Tulees lately. Who? Mm -hmm. Antoine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Who do I watch? Me. No sir. <laughs> no sir. No sir. It has to be Julio. Mm -hmm. Just him as a bro. How he's fast. Watching Julio NBA. live was crazy. One of my trainers back in the day. He said he saw him in the airport. Back in the day, bro, you like 15. You better stop. <laughs> <laughs> On live TV, it was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he seen him in the airport. And he said he was like the biggest person he's ever seen. DG, you would rather guard uh, DK or Julio? I'm the same person, man. I don't know. I'm trapping both of them boys. Bro, you can't guard nobody, man. I can. I can. I can. I would, can. What? I would send you to the sideline. <laughs> they wouldn't even put you back in the game. They wouldn't even put you back in the game. You're not getting off the line. I'm not getting off the line? No. What is the craziest game you guys have ever played in? Iowa, hands down. I was insane. I would have my emotions on a high. Nah, that was insane. After the whole game. Oh, man. Nah, but uh, personally, though, I say my my first game, my junior year of high school, it was on ESPN. It was like my pop-out game against uh, Mountain Creek, number one team in North Carolina, but number one team in South Carolina. Basically, we like, let's see who's better, SC or North, North Carolina. We had to walk out the tunnel at the same time, right next to each other. And every single one of their players was bigger than us. And like, that was the moment. I'm like, man, this could go either way. Mm -hmm. It was the only time I ever thought that. It ended in a tie, though. So. I'm just glad we didn't, you know what I'm saying? We ain't, we ain't had to do the cater like that in high school. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What high school you went to, DG? Newton. Newton. The Rams. Oh, high school. <laughs> Hey, we get people to believe though. Hmm? Decatur what? Bulldogs. 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 Versus Rams? 
Exactly. Y'all ain't, they ain't stepping with us. Come nah. on, man. Come on. We know that. You side. I didn't see your squad. That's the thing. I didn't see your squad. DG came out of high school with me, so it's like man, I'm I already know what type of talent was coming out of 21. I'm playing the top talent in Georgia. I'm just letting you know. The, bro, you I ain't playing the Grayson. You ain't play, huh? I played Buford. I did too. What was y'all score? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we were supposed to play uh Mackey team, Coca. Oh yeah, you told me that. I ain't gonna lie, Coca hard, bro. Yeah, I think we might have. Coke it hard. You, might have you seen you seen Mackey uh huddle in high school? Duh, I was watching his, his huddle while I was in high school. You feel really? like, what? Yeah. <laughs> nah, he tough, bro. Uh, Mackey tough. Let me get that uh, chocolate latte. Thanks, bro. I don't think a latte is color, bro. That's more like hot chocolate. Bro. Chocolate latte. That's how you say chocolate in Spanish, right? Siri. How do you say chocolate in Spanish? Chocolate. Is there a newcomer right now that you guys pick on? Pick on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I love my boy to death. My boy Dallas Sims. You know, he he real fresh. <laughs> he real hey, fresh. <laughs> so, so, really? so, yeah, we've been toughening him up a little bit. That's how I got him. Mm. I'll be honest with you, I tell you a lot. Deontay. <laughs> in your whole career, what's your favorite city that you've played an away game at? I ain't gonna lie, I like when we went to Colorado. Boy, they, the mountains, bro, the mountains is crazy. Bro. Yeah, the view? Yeah, bro, Boulder is crazy. Ooh, boy, we go to uh, California this year, though. Uh, go to UCLA, uh -huh. go to Rose Bowl. That's gonna top everything. Yep. I ain't even been yet. Ooh, how y'all feel about that? How you feel about all them teams coming to the Big Ten, bro? That's going to be fun. I ain't going to lie. It's going to add a new uh, comp. You think they're going to handle the cold, bro? Not at all. Not at all. Mm. Man, is it October? You can't replicate this. Shout out to Minnesota having great weather right now, bro. No, for oh real. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. I hit some, um, what's the ice that you can't see? Black, Black ice. Black ice, bro. I stepped on that the other day. Me and Quinn did, bro. <laughs> we almost, like, bust our head. That one is right. Like, who would you say is the funniest teammate that you guys have had funniest? in the locker room? Yeah. Chris Collins. Oh, bro. CC. When bro. I was on that Killed side of the locker room. Oh, he's killing. He be killing. Bro. He be killing. He was cracking me up every single day. Yeah. Yeah, tea time. Ray, all of them be killing. Used to kill me. Yeah, I heard. I heard. I heard. That, that, that boy used to kill Who? me. Who? Evan Redding. Oh, he red, yeah, he be killing me. He's on, he pop around the corner, he know something. This is just something, he gonna hit you with a dance move. <laughs> that boy Sean, you can hear his laugh from a mile away. That's awesome. What's your favorite place to eat in Minneapolis that you guys have tried? I ain't gonna lie, Snack Shack be hitting. Oh man. Snack that's that seafood place? Oh, all, mm -hmm. oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Not Shake Shack. Snack oh yeah, Shack. that's what I'm thinking of. Is that that seafood place? Yeah. yeah. We were on our, uh, uh, we were climbing. Oh, uh, yeah. That's, that's. With that macaroni. Oh, what is it? The lobster. Lobster, lobster, lobster mac. mac. Yeah, Man. I had a soul food spot yesterday. Oh, Angelus. 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 Yeah. That was Angelus. crazy work. Right. Mama Sheila's been here. Had this you had it, Emma? Last night, I think. My burger? Or two nights ago. I mean, yeah, I love burgers. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but my burger is so good, bro. I don't know if I was just living under a rock, but them little Jack Frozen pizzas, I just go to uh, Fresh Time and get like six of them. I've been to uh, Fresh Time one time, my whole time here. It For was her, it was whenever it was like Ooh, we had the, the snowstorm. snowstorm. Yeah, uh, we was the all in there. That was <laughs> funny. Yeah, that was good. Folks cooking, I know how to cook. Bro. What you cook, bro? What you cook during that? Oh, no, I got some like heated up stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got a uh, fried rice. Like fried a, rice? Put in there. Put in the <laughs> <laughs> if you guys had to pick between Mesa and Frank's. Oh, Frank's. Frank's. Yeah. Frank's. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, red car, but Frank's. They got that garlic aioli, bro. <laughs> they got that Philly cheese steak, too. Oh, that's I ain't never that had that. That's trash, bro. Uh, what? What cheese you, you got on You don't like Philly cheese steak? From Frank? I love That's like one of my favorite foods. What cheese you got on Frank's it? Frank's Philly was terrible, bro. Oh, bro you it was like too salty. <laughs> I don't know what you do. What you, what you, how, like, how they make it, bro? Like, is it the, you got your? You got I mean, like, I put I put cheese, jalapenos, and, ma and mayonnaise in mine. 
That's it. That's it. No one knows. So yeah. if your guys' families came to visit and they told you guys to take them out to dinner, where are you going to take them? We're going to Manny's. We're going to Manny's Steakhouse. I'm assuming there's no budget. <laughs> <laughs> so we go to Mandy's. You know how much money that is, bro? I don't know. I don't know a lot. Yeah. Yeah, they be. We take recruits there. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Right. That's, that's, the, that's the only time I've had that experience. You feel me? So. You don't want to experience it on the pain, man, bro. Oh. Yeah. You hear that? I ain't getting paid for it. So what oh. you talking about? <laughs> 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 nah, nah. My mom, my big damn mama did, though. Oh. Oh yeah, it was up there. Huh? Hey, it was up there. Mm. How many hours do you think you guys spend on TikTok? Don't ask Ken that question. He go. What's he gonna say? Ken <clears throat> say twelve. No. <laughs> I say at least max four hours. Max max four in a hours? day? Yeah. I don't know. It's just somehow I just always. It's always late at night too. It's late at night. It's always late at night. <laughs> Who would you guys want to play in college that we have not played against? I just want to play all the old Pac-12 teams, bro. All the old Pac-12 teams? Like Washington and yeah. Oregon and all that. But I don't think we play Oregon this year, do we? No. No. I don't know. I don't know. We play South Carolina. I don't know. SEC ball. Yeah, I'll say somebody else. We're going to play Alabama 2034, brother. 2034? 2034. My children? <laughs> what you talking about? We're going to be alumni. Yeah. Would you guys ever want to go into coaching? Very much so. <laughs> yeah. Very much so. Yeah, I can see myself doing it. You want to coach the position that you've played, or would you want to coach a different position? Uh, <laughs> I'll be I'll be a safety coach. A safety yeah. coach. Yeah. Or a DC. I'll, a DC would be hard. I'll go coach quarterbacks. Quit playing. Quarterbacks. Come on. Come on. Because as a receiver, it's like I know. I'll be an OC. Be smart. You know, have my receivers, receivers cook and eat, man. Sorry, would you have a co OC? So, like, you just take care of the pass game, someone else take care of the run game, or? Oh, my coach will do that. If you on the team, not in your position group, would you want to swap skills with? I'll say John Joyner. John Joyner? Oh. I was going to say Anthony Smith. But D- too big. DT, probably. DT? Yeah, that's that man's just a wrecking ball, bro. Well, Wally. <laughs> Let me be Wally. Wally. <laughs> Let me be Wally. I'm going to have some celebrations for you. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, please. Okay, out of all the home games that you guys have been a part of, what game had the craziest fan energy? Oh, Nebraska. 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 Yeah, Nebraska for sure. What? Yeah. Coming out yeah, of that, that tunnel was crazy. crazy. Yeah, that zone was crazy. Yeah, that whole back side was filled. Oh, yellow. yeah. Yeah. It was like the whole game, too. Yeah. Nobody left. Yeah. When they did the light thing yeah. for the fourth quarter, that zone was hard. Right. That was one of those games you can close your eyes uh, and know what's happening. Uh, that game when it was crazy, your God was crazy. <laughs> hey, that zone was fun, bro. I like how they joke no crawl. What was your favorite whole game? Wisconsin, when we beat them in 21. Oh, yeah. That, that zone, was so That bad. was crazy, that too. Was so I mean, crazy. Yeah, that was definitely the craziest game. Really, yeah, Ohio was State was crazy, yeah. too. Y'all still on the field against State, Wisconsin? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. What? We I played that jump around song. Yeah. Respects. Sir. You think I can break this in half? Oh, my boy. I didn't even get to see what you made for me. <laughs> so, this one was supposed to be a cocoon. It was a heart around it, but <sighs> it got smashed. <laughs> and then. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me get the ice before you start, bro. This, 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 this will be for my girl, so. And then the last one, it was supposed to be like a clown. Well, it still do look like a clown though. It's just smushed. Like he got the red and everything. He got a he got the pink hair. It kind of looked like cotton candy hair, but it still works though. Let me see if I can break this. Hey, bro, that's on. <laughs> that's on solid. I was 5'2 to 5'11 from 7th grade to 8th grade. You, how tall are you right now? I'm 6'2 now. You ain't no 6'2. <laughs> how tall are you? Uh, I'm 5'11. Six, six, no, I'm not tall. You ain't tall. I'm tall. You're 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 tall. You're
Nah, but say I'm six one, bro. <laughs> what would you stick with? That's what I'm sticking with, bro. Put a bat, run a bat, wide receiver, corner, safety. What do you need, me, coach? Punt returner, kick returner. Kicker. Oh Lord, man. I was kicking. I was punter. Really? Yeah. What was the furthest you kicked? Thirty yards. <laughs> Thirty. If you that. Doing the thing in there. Uh, probably cool forty. Okay, so build your guys' best offense from the NFL. Oh, A Rod at quarterback. All right, in the backfield we're gonna have Adrian Peterson. All right. Yeah. No, nobody okay. for AP. Okay, okay, okay. Wide out. We gotta go with Julio. Gotta have Jason Kelsey at center, man. <laughs> oh, you finna go through the whole line? Yes. Yeah. Uh, gotta go through the whole line. Oh, Trent. Yeah. Trent Woods. Yeah. yeah. Left tackle. We gotta have Jefferson at receiver too. Yeah. Okay. Oh. How many games he missed this year? He still had like a thousand yards, bro. No, nah, he hard. I give it to him. <laughs> Tony Gonzalez, I'll take Tony Gonzalez on that. Oh, game, stop bro. it. Tony Gonzalez is hard, but like, right now, messing with Kelsey. Nah, I don't know, bro. Kelsey ain't doing this. Kelsey ain't been showing me what I need to see this past season. Kelsey? Yeah. Have you not seen the playoffs, bro? The playoffs straight, but right before the playoffs was crazy. Right. Well, could we put Tyreek in the wide out, too? A little flex. Oh, uh, you feel that flex, yeah. Tyreek. We got this little cool design of a heart. Mix the blue in there. We got a checkerboard. No. Put some glitter on there. We got this one. It's an A. It's a deco it's decorating girl. sugar, bro. It's also my girl. It's decorating sugar. And then we got, what you call this? And a needle. Nah, when it was just a white, <laughs> white part. Rossum? No, toaster strudel. Oh, toaster strudel. Toaster strudel. Toaster strudel. Toaster strudel. With sprinkles on it. Toaster strudel. And then we just got one with a K for me. Tight. We got a little heart, a <laughs> little pink heart with little, with little sprinkles in the middle. You know, red, red, white, pink. See right here, we got another heart. I don't know if y'all can see for real. But um, colorful sprinkles on the outside, little dots in the middle. So it's like. Just have a little fun, put some dots around that joint. But it's my favorite one right here. A little eat money. Thank you. I think I had the best, if I'm gonna be real with you. Watch out, bro. It's <laughs> more detail. Out, bro. We'll let the public decide yeah, on that we'll one. We'll let the public decide, yeah. man. What a bowl, Sky Yamar, go Ghost. Okay, well, thank you guys for joining me for a very first episode of the show. Indeed. Appreciate you. I appreciate Thanks. you guys. And you guys can support them on Dinkytown Athletes' website and prep for next season. Yeah. Game one against North Carolina. Let's do it. Let's get it. Yeah.